welcome to 13th of May's Holy Blessing. Don't we get blocked or get into a bondage where we try to move out of it. And those bondages are because we use either lust, anger, greed, ego, attachment, jealousy, hatred, negativity, disdainment and so many things. And that is the reason we get into bondage. Bondage is not just something which is a physical bondage. It is a physical bondage also but it can be a mental bondage also. Somebody did something to you and you're carrying that load for the past 10 years. Somebody said something to you and carrying that load for the past 5 days. It's a mental bondage. It's a subtle bondage. You keep on remembering that person. You cannot focus on your work. You cannot do your normal activities and that's a bondage. So God here says that may you go beyond and come close to your destination by crossing all walls of limitations. Go beyond means go beyond this worldly thoughts, worldly aspects, worldly nature of communication of people in Kali Yuga and go beyond, lift yourself above those consciousness and reach your destination of becoming the purest being on earth. Next word. So God says the way to cross any wall of limitation is to go beyond and just cross it. So if there is any limitation which is stopping you, not letting you move forward, it's a limitation, check. It is we who are creating the limitation actually. Either it's our attachment, either it's our it's a greed, either it's a lust or either it's lust is not just physical, it's lust for things also, which is making us not move ahead in life. For example, a person doesn't leave a place because he's attached to people, attached to things, attached to that home, attached to that house, to that land, and that person is not ready to leave. And if that person leaps and goes on and moves on in the life, they would receive success to a greater level. But they're stuck. Why? Because they've claimed everything to be theirs. That's why they're not able to go beyond. So God says, they always see their destination to be very close. Those in the flying stage never hang on to or get stuck in limitations. They always see their destination to be very close. They become flying birds and sit on the branch of karma on the kalpa tree. Now what is a kalpa tree? You have to come and learn that. I'll be posting a picture over here in this video. You can see that but then to know about the details of that, you cannot just see it through the details of the picture but you have to come to the Brahma Kumari Center and learn about the Kalpa tree, the tree of life where you are also sitting as a leaf in that tree. So God then says they act with their powerful unlimited form and then fly away. They act with their powerful unlimited form and then fly away. They don't get attached to things and people. It's not about my house or my center or my seva or my place or my country or they can go beyond. They are unlimited. They would not get trapped in any bondage of the branch of karma. That means when you have lust for things, lust for power, you get bonded, you get attached and then you start doing wrong activities. And that's what God is talking about. Then you get more engaged, more entangled into your karma. So souls who are not attached, they do karma in such a way that they don't get attached to any place or thing or person. They would be constantly free. And how do you do that is what you learn in Brahma Kumaris, constantly free. But if you are worried about my place, my thing, my people, then it's a false consciousness. It's making you stuck and you're not letting you grow. So if you want to grow, come out of that bondage. To learn more about it, do visit the Brahma Kumari Center nearby you. I'm Shanti with this.